Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using this glass bowl and candle holder from Dollar Tree and this wood plaque and dowel cap from Hobby Lobby. I started by sanding down the four inch wood plaque from Hobby Lobby and then wood gluing the dowel cap to the bottom center of the little round plaque. Just set those aside for now. I then took plaster chalk paint by Waverly and painted the entire candle holder. I've only seen these a couple times at Dollar Tree. If you can't find one like this, they have those plain glass ones that would work just fine. So I painted it one coat, dried it completely, and then on my second coat, I took a sponge to apply the second coat. That way I did not see any of the paintbrush marks. Next, I took mineral chalk paint, also by Waverly, and put just a small amount on the side of a sponge brush and kind of just rubbed the side of the sponge along those little pieces that stick out on the candle holder just to give it a bit of distressing. I didn't want it too dark, so once I applied it, I took a baby wipe and blended in those markings. Next, I took this clear matte finish by Waverly and applied that to the entire wooden plaque and dowel cap. You can definitely paint it the same color as the candle holder or separate color. I just really liked the wood color of it and I thought it would look really nice on this project. And next, I'm gluing the glass bowl onto the candle holder. So on the bottom of the bowl, I took quick hold glue, which is by E6000 and hot glue, and then placed it down on the candle holder. Next, I filled it in with some pine cones and little pumpkins from Dollar Tree, as well as some fairy lights. And I just love how this project turned out. This one I wanted to decorate for fall, but Using a different piece on the bottom, I think I'm going to make a few for my bathroom for Q-tips and things like that. And the plaque from Hobby Lobby, this four inch plaque, if you put it upside down, fits perfectly as a cover inside this glass bowl. And then once I have it all filled, I just turn that plaque upside down and it fits perfectly. And then for a little extra something, I took this faux leather leaf from Dollar Tree. It just has the word blessed on it, and I tied that around the candle holder. And that is it for this project. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching.